Hello, y'all. This is Tara Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a mini reading for um, the Gemini for the month of May 2016. Um, this is going to be a very quick three card spread just to get a glimpse um, before your full reading that I'll be uploading to this channel. Um, for a personalized reading, Gemini, definitely contact me on my website, and I do same day readings, okay? Um, so I'm just going to be looking at the energies of the past which is uh, <clears throat> energies or events that are still affecting you and what you need to take from the past to move forward. Um, the present, which is what's going on right now, and any opportunities or challenges that you are currently be being presented. And card number three is going to be... Uh-oh. The outcome... So Gemini, for the past, I do see the full card. So this represents some sort of new beginning in the past. And I do remember um, seeing that for the Gemini in another reading that I was doing. Because the full is like the energy of a child. They're not so serious. So I do see you going through. Oh, that's a pretty little cat. So this is um, pretty much some sort of spirit or even representing you. And this is just about the spirit of brand new so I feel like you just recently reinvented yourself you went through a major you know change in your relationship this is a major arcana and this is about you meeting a lover that took you to new, le to new levels of sexuality and spirituality And this is new or original sexual experiences. Um, also, I do see that for a lot of you Geminis, I mean, you met someone that, that really excited you. It was really unpredictable. And, you know, that can be either a good or a bad thing. All in all, though, this is a really positive card. You know, carefree, new beginnings, optimism. You know, you see the beauty in everything. You did take some risks. And these things have bought you success. And you figured out a new way of doing things. So you... I do see that in your love, it just... It, it seems like th that whatever this love interest you were dealing with, Gemini... You just weren't ready for a commitment or maybe they weren't, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm getting the sense that maybe it was a mutual thing. So you may have met someone in the past that you just decided that you were going to have fun with. Um, presently, you do have the Eight of Wands. So I do see you, um, the energies between you and that person are really balanced with, the, with it being the Eight. <clears throat> this indicates a lot of success in the relationship. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. Okay, this is possible, possibly some sort of travel. Okay, um, maybe you've been feeling delayed and this is the end of it. So presently, you know, um, you're sensing that you're moving forward. So presently, um, you're moving forward. You just got some exciting news. Okay, and um, it's kind of, got you a little on edge you know and and it's it's removing you from being you know uh, motionless so right now I get the sense that there's a lot of metaphorical movement um, in, in particular in your relationship again this is a very good card Um, in the context of love, this is about trust. Um, some of you may be tired of waiting. And it seems like 
you know, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but it actually is. You don't want to try to force things. Otherwise, it'll backfire. So just take it slow. Okay? The person is not ready for a commitment yet. I can see it again. Again, the Eight of, of Wands indicating the same thing as the full card. They're not ready. And you can't force them. You need to distract yourself. And they'll come back to you. So if you just recently broke up with someone, you know... <clears throat> They're going to come back and they're going to offer you their love on a silver platter. <laughs> um, for the future, Gemini, you did get the Ten of Wands indicating um, that there is going to be growth within the relationship. Um, whatever difficulty you are overcoming now, it, you're going to get what you want because the Ten of Wands um, is the card of overcoming. So if you've, if you've had issues with your partner you know, not wanting to settle down, um, it looks like that's going to happen, okay, so this person is going to more than commit to you, but you got to focus your energy in making that happen, okay, in consolidating your efforts, also with this card, I do see you and this person, uh, making a huge commitment to each other uh, sometime in December. Okay, so again, this be, this reading may not resonate with all of you Geminis. If you want a more personal reading, um, check out my website. The link is in the video description box. Make sure that you subscribe. Um, and make sure that you stay tuned for your full reading that I'm going to put up later uh, for May for this channel. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.